On the next line, I'd like you to practice writing a quarter note on each line and then each space. I want us to take this practice because I'm still finding mistakes regarding which direction the stem goes and then what side of the note it goes on. So let's start with the bottom line, E. Here's our quarter note. Because I'm below the middle line, my stem goes upwards. This kind of looks like the lowercase letter D. Next line, leave a space because I'm going to have an instruction for you at the end of this. So leave some space. Again, because I'm below the middle line, the stem goes on this side going up. Middle line you can choose. You can continue doing it this way or you can go downwards, but then you place the stem before the note, like the lowercase letter P. Here we are on our high D line. This time you have no choice. We're above the middle line. The stem goes down and it goes before the note, again, like the letter P. Top line, our stem would go downwards before the note. Practice doing a quarter note in every space, face in the space. Here's F, here's A. For C, we're going above the middle line. The stem goes downwards and next to the note, like the lowercase letter P. Same way for E. I'm also seeing that some of us need practice drawing the natural sign. A natural sign looks like this. I'm going to draw one down here for you. You don't have to copy this. Did you see how I made that? I made the letter L and then an upside down letter L. I want you to draw a natural sign in front of each of the quarter notes we just drew. Now that natural sign should go around the same line or the same space as your note. I don't want to see the note is here, a G, and then your natural sign is floating someplace else. That's actually incorrect. The natural sign would go around the G line the same way the notes on the G line. Go ahead and put a natural sign before the remaining quarter notes that we wrote.